baby. Hello everybody. Today we're gonna try to make tomato bisque. Now my wife and I have been trying to have a garden for oh, maybe five years or so. We've always been pretty unsuccessful. This year things turned around. We got the soil right, sunlight right, watering right, all that. So now we were able to grow a lot of tomatoes and jalapenos and some other peppers and uh, onions and peas and some various things. We have a lot of tomatoes. So naturally we're thinking, what are we gonna do with all these tomatoes? So tomato bisque is what we're making today. I'm gonna put all the ingredients that we end up using in the description, but for now I'm just gonna kinda of wing it. So if you'd like to follow along, please join me. All right, so I have here about a uh, medium onion, just kind of diced up. I'm gonna add this in. We're gonna get these guys sauteed. We're also gonna throw in a couple of cloves of uh, diced garlic. And we just wanna cook those to translucency. Also have a little bit of uh, olive oil in here as well, about a tablespoon or so. We'll give those a few minutes. A little bit of salt to help the onions sweat. All right, our onions are looking pretty good. Um, I can smell the garlic, which is usually a pretty good indication that it's ready. So I think we're gonna go ahead and add in some chicken broth. So this is about three and a half cups of chicken broth. Uh, use whatever brand you want. We're just using the old bouillon straight out of the uh, Latin section at the supermarket. So we'll give this a stir. And we're gonna let this cook over high heat to try to get it to a boil. All right, along with our chicken broth, this is about three and a half cups or so of various tomatoes that uh, came from the garden. Mostly Romas, but there's also a few cherry tomatoes in here as well. We're just gonna throw it all in. Now we're gonna make sure this is on high and we're gonna bring this to a simmer. So we'll check back in just a few minutes. We're not quite up to a boil yet, but uh, the wife wasn't looking, so I'm gonna throw in just a little bit of serrano pepper from the garden. <laughs> so we've uh, got it up to a pretty good simmer here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some spices to this. But it's a little bit of black pepper, some paprika, smoked paprika, some salt, and about two teaspoons of sugar because you want a little bit of sweetness in here. I'm gonna add that in. Now for a bisque, you want a very silky texture to the soup. So um, one of the ways that I read that you can do this is by putting just regular white rice in. So this is three tablespoons of white rice. Uh, this is your typical minute rice that you get from Walmart or wherever. I'm sure you could use any kind you want. Uh, the alternative is that you can make a roux out of flour and all that, but uh, we're gonna try the rice today. In she goes. All right, let's give all this a stir. And we're gonna cook this for at least half an hour. So we're just kinda just gonna let it simmer there for a bit and uh, we'll check on it in just a little bit. I'll see you then. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes or so. Gonna do a quick taste test. Okay, that lid is hot. See if we got enough salt, sugar, all that stuff. Tastes pretty good. All 
All right, so uh, we're gonna give this the old immersion blender treatment and try to blend this into a uh, bisque sort of consistency. So we're looking for something uh, really silky and kind of smooth, so this is probably gonna take a few minutes. So I may uh, fast forward this. Lot of blending. All right, so that was a good three to four minutes of solid blending, which uh, I can definitely feel it in my hands. But as you can see, we have a really nice, smooth, silky consistency, which is what we're going for. So let's uh, move on to the next step. All right, so we're gonna add about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. and give her a stir. Oh yeah, baby, there we go. And this is the difference between tomato soup and tomato bisque. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down to low. We're gonna give this just a couple of minutes. And in the meantime, I think it's time to make some grilled cheese sandwiches. All right, so let's make this toast. So if you don't have one of these, it's the Griddler by Cuisinart. These are pretty uh, inexpensive and we use it so often. I, I, not a sponsor, not a sponsor. This thing's awesome though. You should have one of these. Uh, there are multiple uses and we love it. So we're gonna heat this thing up to about 425 on the griddle setting and uh, give that a couple of minutes to heat up. In the meantime, Let's go ahead and get our bread situated. So we're gonna use Texas toast because, you know, Texas. Big, thick slices of bread. I like to use just, uh, you know, whatever Walmart like bread you can get, canola oil or uh, olive oil. I prefer the olive oil, but we're working with the canola today. You could also use butter, of course. We're gonna give these guys a spray. Lift this guy up, spray side down. Give those a couple of minutes to, uh, to brown a little bit. All right, let's take a look and see what these look like. Oh yeah, looking good. Go ahead and give them a flip. And we're gonna do the other side. In the meantime, put just a little bit of mayo on each slice. And here we have a slice of white American and a slice of cheddar. We'll let that sit for a few minutes. We're gonna put our top on here. Got a little bit of a brownage going on here. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the smusher because, you know, this came with a smusher. So we're smushing these. I'm gonna melt the cheese, give this about a minute on each side. We'll flip it, smush it again, and we'll have our grilled cheese. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes. Let's take our little smashed grilled cheese out. Oh, looking good on both sides. Throw her onto a plate. All right, let's get this cut 
and our soup served, and I'll see you at the dinner table. All right, here we are, folks. This is the finished product, and my wife Caroline is gonna do the honors to garnish the soup. Got a little bit of cream going in. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Very nice. Then we're gonna throw a little bit of chopped basil. And bam, finished product. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now we just need to add our grilled cheese and the old man cooking special, the jalapeno. I don't know about y'all, but we're gonna go ahead and eat this and man, we're gonna enjoy it. See you in a minute. All right, y'all, so this turned out better than I'd hoped. It was uh, probably the best tomato soup I've ever had, no lies. Now, full disclosure, most of the vegetables came from our own garden. Uh, we grew tomatoes, uh, serrano peppers, onions. Uh, so a lot of that stuff we grew ourselves and we were able to use it in a dish. Um, it literally is one of those little, you know, four by four outdoor raised planters and we did pretty well, we thought. And it turned out fantastic. So a couple of notes I made for this recipe. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can use a regular blender. I would probably let it cool a little bit put it in the blender, blend it, put it back in the pot, and then heat it back up, just you know, to save your blender. But it's still fine, you could do it that way. As far as spices go, uh, we used about a half a Serrano, which I was a little bit worried that my wife wasn't gonna like it, like it would be too hot, but she loved it. It was just a little bit of kick, it was perfectly fine. If you don't have a Serrano, I'd say a half teaspoon of cayenne, or maybe a half a jalapeno would work just as well. All right, as far as the griddler on the uh, grilled cheese, not everybody has one of these, although I highly recommend you buy one because they're awesome and they're not very expensive. If I didn't have that, I would just take a piece of Texas toast, throw it in the toaster, let it toast, bring it out, throw some cheese on it, and then microwave for 20 seconds. Exactly the same thing. You'll love it. Well, I guess that's pretty much about it. I would just like to say that uh, this is our first video that we're putting out. So uh, my wife and I are trying really hard to make this happen. But uh, if there's something you think I can do better or maybe a recipe you'd love to see or, or just any sort of comment you want to leave at all, leave it in the comments. We'll read them and um, we'll try to do better or, or whatever. So give me a thumbs up and a like if you, know, if you like it. If not, give me a thumbs down and tell me why. We'd love to do better. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us today, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Old man cooking out. Oh, hey, what's up? What are you doing in my kitchen? My wife and I uh, had a vegetable garden one day, once upon a time, and it was it was terrible. We couldn't grow couldn't grow anything. I feel so. Come on, come on, Ray. Come on, come make the tomato bisque. We're making a bisque with the tomatoes.